Hey, what's up everybody? 3D Theory here. Today we have another fun video for you. You guys all seem to have liked the Top Cube enclosure video I made for the Bamboo Lab A1. And Top Cube sent us over another enclosure for the Bamboo Lab A1 for us to unbox and show you. And this one's a bit more affordably priced and I can't wait to show you guys. So let's get this thing unboxed. All right guys, so let's go ahead and open this up. And the first thing we're greeted with is that cloth material that's gonna be enclosing the 3D printer as well as the user manual. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up really quick and grab that user manual. The item size is 838 by 588 by 588 millimeters. And what comes with it is all the assembly pieces, including a hydrometer as well as a thermometer combo in one, like the other top cube enclosure that we reviewed and the instructions on how to build it. And this looks really straightforward, very cleanly and neatly organized like we saw with the other one. And we're gonna go ahead and get this built out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take everything out of the box here. As mentioned, we have that cloth. We also have some three-way connectors, some beam hooks, as well as rods. We have A, B, and C rods. And as you can hear, they're made of really solid metal. We also have that thermal hydrometer, which already looks to be on. It looks like they might've sent us some gloves to work with, so that's nice. So here it is, and it's already functioning. And last but not least, we got a light. So this enclosure also comes with a light, which is very nice. All right, guys, to get this started, it simply just says connect the A rods to complete four long A rods. So I'm gonna grab the A rods over here and get it assembled. And they do indeed feel like some solid rods. That's one. I'm gonna click that little metal spring down. That's two, that's three, and that's four. All right guys, so the next step is connect the B-rods to complete eight long B-rods. And here's the B-rod bag. And it also looks like we got a second bag of B-rods over here. All right, so I'm just gonna grab one end, grab the other end. Same way, just push in that little metal spring. That's one, that's two, that's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, let's go on to the next step here, which says connect the B rods with three-way connectors to complete the left frame and right frame. And it shows over here that we got B rods on all four here, as well as the four three-way connectors. So we're gonna grab four of these three-way connectors and begin just simply popping them in. And I'm gonna face these little springs on the inside as shown in the drawing. Let me get these A-rods out of the way. I'm gonna pop these in the front. Right off the bat, I can say that this is definitely a lot simpler to build than the other top cube enclosure. But then again, they both have their strengths. All right, guys, so I got all four corners in as well as the four B-rods. The next part is pretty straightforward as well. It just says connect the long A-rods, left frame and right frame to complete the overall frame of the enclosure. So before I actually move on to the A-rods, I actually need to create another one of these. All right, we got the remaining four three-way connectors over here. And likewise, we're just gonna grab a B-rod, stick these through, stick two more B-rods in them, just like that. Get the two more three-way connectors going in there. And the last B-rod. Super easy. And now we can start with the A-rods going vertically. And likewise, I'm gonna make sure these little springs are pointing inward, just like that. And next, we're just gonna pop the B-rod square onto the A-rods up top. Yep, and that was simple enough. Let's move on to the next step, which is connect the C-axis and hooks to form the support beam at the top of the frame. So it looks like we're gonna wanna take this and flip it over. All right, guys, this thing's actually pretty large, which means that the A1 with the AMS light combo is gonna be able to fit in here, no problem. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the C-rods over here. And they only have one set of C-rods and it goes in simply like the A and the B-rods just by clicking that in. And we're gonna leave the pin going to the right side here like I see in the manual here. And we're just gonna pop on the hooks just like that. And we're just gonna get the other one and pop it on just like that. And we're ready to stick it on the top here. I'm just gonna line it up as best I can. And this thing is stable. Okay, next, we're gonna fix the LED light on the frame. The lighting position can be adjusted as needed, it says. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the light that they provided, which I think is super handy to have. They give you two of these clips as well as the light. This looks identical to the one on the other top cube enclosure we installed. Here are those two clips. You got one for the rod and one for the light here. And I'm personally gonna make the wire go back 
that way. And I'm gonna actually stick it onto the light first, just so it's easier, just like that. And then I'm gonna line it up as center as I can onto this rod. I mean, it doesn't get much more simple than that. Now, to put on the cover, it says open the zipper of the insulation cover and insert the entire frame into it. So we're just gonna open up that little flap and insert the frame. All right guys, so we got the insulated cover here. I'm just gonna go ahead and unfold it. So we got the Top Cube logo on the left side over here. So we just wanna keep that in mind. Just gonna open this up and we're gonna unzip it like it mentions in the manual just like that. And I'm just gonna grab this center part here, lift it and bring the bag forward. And I set it inside. This part is a little tricky because the poles tend to wanna come out. But I'm just gonna try to gently grab it from the bottom of the bag here and just slip it through. I'm just gonna throw this flap over the top here and it's lining up pretty nicely. I moved on over to the other side while pulling the bottom here and the top. I'm also pushing with my hand here, slowly but surely getting it through. I see that it's kind of getting hung up on the open part there, so just fix that as I need it to. And I'm just taking my time with this, making sure everything's going in properly. I got one corner fully in and I want to show you what I'm looking at over here. So there's a corner piece here that still needs to go in. So I'm just going to bring the bag around it and we're fully through. And we got that through really simply. So now that we got the frame in to the insulated cover over here, it says zip up the insulation cover and insert the thermal hydrometer into the rubber ring. So I'm just going to go ahead and zip this up. That's one side. We got the other side there and What's cool is you got a window over here, which is super cool, as well as a window on this side. So you can see what's going on in there, which is super neat. All right, and here's that little rubber insert they're referring to in the manual. We're just gonna grab this and simply pop it through, just like that. And it fits like a glove. It actually goes with the aesthetic nicely. All right guys, so it's looking pretty nice. We just have one more page to look at over here. It says we have the reserved external exhaust port, a filament poop cleaning port, which is very thoughtful, tools fixing belt, which I can't wait to show you the inside and take a look at it myself, as well as a transparent observation window and filament change port for the AMS light, which to me is thought out all very well. I'm gonna open this up here and stick the A1 inside. On the inside corner over here, there's a little hole for you to be able to stick your wires through. For example, we're gonna need to stick this wire through to be able to turn on the light, as well as the power cable for the Bamboo Lab A1. We also have another one on the other side there, just in case you have some wires you wanna stick through over there. Let's say you have your filament purge bucket over here. You could just open this up, take it out, and empty it out, open it, and put it back in which is super thoughtful, as well as a place for your exhaust port right here. It has the screw holes, a little opening, so you can stick the pipe through or the connector for the pipe. And I just wanted to show you here that if you wanna put your tools on the side here, you totally can. So if let's say you want your tweezers or your cutters there, or even your little scraper, it fits right in perfectly. All right guys, so here's the Bamboo Lab A1 inside of the enclosure. We got the purge bucket over here. We got the AMS light in there and it fits perfectly. As you can see, the build plate comes up right to the edge, but doesn't pass through. It also goes to the back there. No issues, does not touch, has a nice big gap. And I'm just gonna close this up here, zip it up, so you can see how easy the zipper is. Real smooth, nice quality zipper, and it's fully enclosed now. We can turn off the light, or turn it on, and you can see the difference there. And as mentioned before, we got a little zipper access over here, so we can open it up and change out the spools as needed. We can even open it from here have access to this side really easily. So this thing is really versatile as far as I can tell. All right guys, and while it's printing in there, I do wanna show you the temperature over here and also the hydrometer. So on the top cube enclosure, it says 90.1 Fahrenheit with a 39% humidity level. And what I've got out here is a 52% humidity level with an 86.7 degree Fahrenheit temperature reading out here. So it's definitely keeping the print in there nice and toasty for whatever you're printing out and you need to have like a warmer 
environment for it to not warp and also you're not going to have a bunch of cool breeze coming through and warping the print as it cools so that's definitely a plus i just wanted to show you guys the top cube enclosure in a low light scenario with the interior light on and i think it looks pretty cool and not only that it's clearly lighting it up on the inside really well all right guys so as you may or may not have seen with the previous top cube enclosure video that i have made when i printed my petg out where it was cold in the room the print came out all warped and eventually had a huge layer shift which pretty much broke the print as you can see. And so some of the benefits of having an enclosure for your A1 are it improves print quality with consistent temperature control inside of the enclosure. It reduces the noise and as it's printing here, you do hear it, but the sound is reduced while it's in the enclosure. And it also isolates harmful particles and odors. So if you also have that tube with the fan that exhausts out all the fumes, let's say out your window, that can be very helpful. And there's definitely accommodations as I shown earlier in this video in the back there. And it also helps if dust gets onto it with this you're not going to be getting dust falling onto it and let's say you're around children or pets they won't be able to get inside which is also very helpful and as you saw with this video it's super easy and quick to set up so this is the top cube enclosure for the bamboo lab a1 they also have one for the a1 mini if you guys are interested i do have a link below in the description go ahead and click on that link and check it out that about wraps it up here in the tiny 3d print farm of five bamboo lab a1 3d printers 3d theory here until next time peace love and joy